Now, Miki Nui Kia Koto Kia ora. It's absolutely awesome to be with you all here today. I'd like to acknowledge you all uh, for doing such an important role of advocating on behalf of students on the various campuses across the country. I want to acknowledge Pete as the outgoing president. I uh, wish all the candidates for the new presidential election uh, the best wishes and best of luck. I uh, acknowledge my parliamentary colleagues, uh, the Māori Party. Obviously, I think what you'll hear today is a large amount of unanimity when it comes to tertiary education policy. I think we're all on the same page, which is it's important, it's a key part of our country going forward, a key part of our economy, and something we're seeing under national go backwards. Now, I'm not going to rattle off the list, but I think we could have a huge list of all the negative things we've got seen under national. Uh, so I'm here on behalf of Holly Walker, who's our tertiary education spokesperson. Uh, she's got a GIS about a one month old baby, so she's on baby leave at the moment, and she'll be back early next year. Uh, maybe I'm here because I'm a student myself. I've actually just finished a master's level course at Vic uh, part time, so maybe I'm here as the, a student rep from the Greens. Uh, but it's great being back, being back in study, and this is my old university, so welcome to Vic. Uh, I was asked to speak about the priorities for the Greens when it comes to tertiary education. I want to highlight three things. The first is uh, very specific, it's around those post grad allowance cuts. So Holly Walker's had a bill in the ballot which she's been out promoting. The Education Student Allowances Availability Amendment Bill. This is something we're incredibly keen to progress. You now we agree with, uh, with Grant that this has got to be one of the most damaging, short-sighted, dumb decisions of Stephen Joyce amongst many sort of D and F grade decisions we've seen under Joyce. You know what we've seen is the, the, the results flowing through now from the decision taken in Budget 2012. What we're seeing, as I understand it, Otago, more than 8% of post-grads have dropped in the last year. At Auckland Uni, I understand it's around 7%. What we want to have, if we're going to see our country going forward in a richer New Zealand, is more people actually undertaking post-grad studies so they can you know, lead the new ventures and lead our community uh, into the future. So we want to see uh, the student allowances restored to post-grad students. Secondly, we're also opposing the Student Loan Amendment Bill, currently going through the Select Committee and the University Council changes. Um, I'm about to draft a minority report, probably over the weekend or Monday, uh, on that student loan scheme bill, because what we're seeing here is again another very damaging uh, stick approach to two street education and student loans. Now I believe in carrots, not sticks, and I believe there are much smarter, probably more cost effective, efficacious ways we can actually see that student loan burden being reduced. We can give Kiwi graduates, the 700,000 them with a student loan, a fair go. Sticks and arresting people at the border isn't the way to reduce the student loan scheme burden. When it comes to university councils, a student and staff voice is critical. Uh, we shouldn't be looking at students and staff as, as clients of a corporate model. They're a key part of these institutions, and if we're going to have good decision making, they've got to be around that table. Now thirdly, it's about supporting students. Now I'm very proud as a Green Member of Parliament that we've, for, for many years since we entered Parliament in 96, been a strong advocate for student voices, be it pushing for student uh, interest-free student loans, be it standing side by side with NZUSA when it comes to the punitive VSM changes we saw under Joyce, through to things like a universal uh, student allowance which we've been advocating for an awful long time. So we're going to keep up being uh, a voice for you in our Parliament. Now I think uh, so I, I want to also say we're currently reviewing our policy, so I've met with Alistair and Pete to uh, talk about some of the changes in the sector and we welcome your input into our policy for the next election. You know, this is our vision of a smart green economy, is investing in our people, investing in education. You know, I often talk about deep sea oil drilling and, and dairy intensification and stuff like that, but New Zealand's future isn't trying to race other countries to trash our environment faster than other countries. New Zealand's future is focusing on innovation, future trends, looking towards the future and having a smart strategy. And an educated, skilled workforce is a key part of that. So for us, tertiary education is important. We believe, like the other parties, it's a public benefit. And we would invest more when it comes to tertiary education. We would be supporting students. Now, when you look under national, you see a very corporate model, a model where you're picking winners in specific sectors. Like Brown, I support more scientists and engineers, but not at the detriment of other courses. Uh, what I would just want to, to, to lastly say is, I'm, I'm not going to rattle off that list of changes, but there's a huge number that we need to roll back. And I guess if you can excuse me, I'm a politician after all, to be political for a second, despite the, the 
the grinding negativity, this bulldozer which Stephen Joyce has rolled across the tertiary education sector for five years, which has made it less accessible, less affordable, and in some cases downright impossible, as they've literally shut the doors to prospective students. Despite all that grinding negativity, I think we should remain optimistic. We are going to see a general election next year, and I understand it's around 8 of 10 recent polls have shown Labour Greens in a position to form the next government. Now, if that's the case, and we see the Greens and Labour uh, in significant numbers, uh, I don't think I'm overstating things to say we could see the most progressive government this country has seen in a generation. When it comes to tuition education... <laughs> you <laughs> Involuntary <laughs> call. <laughs> but I think... Just leave Tracy. Yeah, she's, she's never lived down. But I think we should be optimistic. The most progressive government is going to support students, it's going to value tertiary education, it's going to put our country on a smart green platform going into the future. So let's not get negative about things. There are important battles to fight, like student allowance, postgrad cuts, like university councils, like the student loan scheme bill. But let's also get optimistic and let's build a platform for how we can take the sector uh, into the future and support our students. So thanks very much. Uh, kia ora.